Education and faith in the 21st century can be a mountain to climb. There are the challenges of ever-evolving technology and critical thought and the development of tomorrow's leaders, all while trying to live the Beatitudes and walk by faith in a world that is increasingly withdrawn from a traditional practice of faith and morals. My favorite subject is math, but I also like the specials, um, physical education, and computer class. I like gym class, and I also like reading, math, and science. My favorite subject probably have to be math and science. We have National Junior Honor Society. We have environmental club. I just think it's good because there's more people to interact with, and it'll be bigger, so it'll be more like high school, so you'll it's not going to be like a huge change. While the challenges are great, there is a strategy to succeed in this ever-changing world. Verso l'alto, to reach for the heights. So as you've just heard, it's official now. The Lake County Regional Catholic Middle School is now Frasati Catholic Academy. The students will relate easily to Blessed Pier Giorgio Frasati, a man of the Beatitudes. Pier Giorgio Frassati's qualities, or charisms, make him the perfect namesake for this innovative step in Catholic education in the Archdiocese of Chicago. Frassati Catholic Academy will find a home on the campus of Transfiguration Parish in Wakanda. The new middle school, a first for the Archdiocese, will bring together students from three existing parish schools, Santa Maria del Popolo, St. Mary of the Annunciation, and transfiguration. The spirit of Pier Giorgio Frassati will unify our student body into a Catholic learning community that we can be proud of. But who is Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati? If you met him, you would like him. He was a handsome, athletically gifted young man. Pier Giorgio was a merry prankster who loved to laugh and have fun, known as the life of the party. He was an athlete who climbed mountains, skied, and loved the outdoors. A student of math and the sciences who studied engineering in hopes that he could change the dangers of the mining industry. Pier Giorgio was a dedicated friend who dutifully walked his faith by tirelessly serving the poor and needy. He was a fierce advocate for social justice and political activism. He found inspiration and strength in his love for the Eucharist. Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati links youth, education, faith, and discipleship in contemporary times like no other. Pier Giorgio Frassati was born Holy Saturday, April 6, 1901, in Turin, a central Italian city near Milan. His father, Alfredo, an attorney and visionary of journalism, bought a small newspaper called La Stampa Gazzetta Piemontese in the infancy of print news and impressively grew its publication. Now known as La Stampa, it remains one of Europe's most widely distributed and read news sources. From a very early age, Pier Giorgio had a heart for God, his family, his friends, and particularly the poor. His humble generosity persisted throughout Pier Giorgio's short life. Coming from a family of means, monies that he would receive would almost always be used to feed the hungry and aid the sick. Pier Giorgio would personally visit and distribute food and medicine to the most destitute, all without the knowledge of his family or friends. For this young privileged man, his mission was clearly caring for others. A profound sense of social justice, he cared for the poor, held them, befriended them, and gave the downtrodden a dignity that had never been shown. Frassati was dedicated to helping the exploited and the hopeless. Upon hearing the horrors and dangers of the coal mining industry, he put himself to task to learn mining engineering with the aspiration of making the day-to-day -day job of the miner less hazardous. Frasati Catholic Academy underscores the importance of math, science, and technology for its students, while developing a social conscience to do good with the tools that they are given. This is done through a comprehensive three-year plan. In sixth grade, students will learn awareness of social issues. In seventh grade, they will learn to organize and plan for action on these issues. And in eighth grade, Frasati students will be encouraged to find their personal passion and then demonstrate leadership incorporating all they have learned. 
Pier Giorgio was a man of faith. He was baptized a Catholic, but his parents were not particularly devout or active in their faith. Without any support of his mother and father, one would hope to find in a Catholic household, Pier Giorgio would often leave the house very early to go to Mass and receive the Eucharist, praying the rosary as he walked to and from a hilltop monastery, only to be back in time to greet his parents at breakfast. At 17, Pier Giorgio was a member and leader in the St. Vincent de Paul Society and an active member in the Catholic-led People's Political Party. Pier Giorgio Fursati never wavered in his love for the poor. It was while serving the poor that it is believed he contracted the debilitating and deadly disease polio. He died six days after being diagnosed with the disease on July 4, 1925. He was just 24 years old. Pier Giorgio's funeral was attended by many of Italian society, but the biggest surprise of the day for the Fursati family were the thousands of poor, homeless, and forgotten who lined the streets to mourn and pay respect to the simple Christian man who had so often come to their aid. On May the 20th, 1990, Pope John Paul II celebrated the beatification of Pier Giorgio Fursati. Inspired by his witness, Fursati Catholic Academy will highlight its patron's charism as the basis for the school's spirituality. Grounded in the Eucharist, a faithful disciple, a compassionate friend of the poor, a worker for justice, a believer in creation as a gift of God, this is Blessed Pier Giorgio Versati. But what makes Blessed Pier Giorgio so appealing to the ordinary Christian was that he lived life to the full, but in an unassuming ordinary way. Did he know how to have fun? Oh, he sure did. Pier Giorgio loved to joke, play pranks, and his sporting life was what every teen and young adult today would long for. I would like someone strong with faith, who cares about other people, who cares about everyone. A person that has like good leadership. Some of the qualities should be that the person could just take action and is just really nice and approachable. Just a person to uh, have a good friend and have a good time. Versati Catholic Academy will ultimately be a welcome place to grow and learn, to discover the joy of being a Christian, a place where leaders are born and good friendships are made. Sports will be a significant part of the students' development. Preparing prep school athletes, the first year will feature conference-sanctioned track and field, cross-country, volleyball, and basketball for both boys and girls. Learning social skills among peers and caring adults will also be encouraged through social events, mentoring opportunities, and experiences of teamwork, all setting in place a culture of understanding, acceptance, and a positive gospel environment for becoming young adult men and women of the Beatitudes. It is truly our hope and prayer that Blessed Pier Giorgio Frassati will intercede on behalf of his school, the first school in the United States to be named for him. May God bless the Frasati Catholic Academy, faculty, and administration, and may he bless our students, our donors and supporters, our dedicated parents, and all involved to continue to carry the torch of Catholic education. Yeah.